losses happen in the hobby, guys. It's just something that sometimes beyond your control. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. So guys, if you watched my little bug room tour video, um, the last one that I put up, you may have noticed two stick insects that were just sat on uh, a tub up the top, which I, I mentioned were actually passed away, and I would do a video on them. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So these were, it was a Eurocanthus calcarata male and female. Now, I know the male was definitely nearer the end of his lifespan. However, the female possibly was at the end of hers they can live a little bit longer however it may have been something else i don't know a, a bad bit of food or whatever but i didn't have any other deaths from them so i'm guessing that they both just reached that old age i'm a little bit gutted because the male was the only male i had now keeping these guys you've got to bear in mind a bit of ratio it's not always the same each phasmid to keep and with these males will actually fight and i will show you what they use to fight in a little while um, so you want to have at least sort of three females to a male um, or they will fight each other for dominance over the females do not keep a huge amount of males together unless you're expecting some fighting to be going on um, they have laid an awful lot of over I'll actually show you what that looks like um, actually I'll, I'll do a, a little close-up of one that's their eggs there and um, yeah, but I haven't had any hatch, and they should have hatched by now, because some of these over are pretty old. Um, I've kept them as I've always kept them. Um, I've spoke to some more people that are a bit more expert on this species, and I um, seem to be keeping the over right. Um, so, maybe it's temperatures. could well be temperatures. Anyway, moving on. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you here, just for size comparison, the difference between male and female you can see she's much larger and you can see it as size comparison against my face here these are big phasmids not the biggest you can get but they are big now these are dried and solid not deliberately um, they actually died a few weeks ago but I kept them for this footage for you guys now as you can see the male is very curled now curling quite often often represents um, a problem with your food plant. So if you have a live phasmid that's curling up, it's quite possible it's poisoned by the plant. This guy was not curled when he died. Um, he's curled as he's hardened since his death. Um, same with the front of her here. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't the food plant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of a closer look at these guys, and then we're gonna wait till night time, and I'll get you some footage of some of the living ones. So this is just a, a macro footage of the ova. So you can see how they resemble seeds and they've got some really cool patternings to them. Now I'm not very good with macro recording yet guys so uh, bear with me. But you can see the detail on the ova there. So this is our male Eurocanthus calcarata. So as you can see he's got little spines here and where I mentioned that they fight that is actually, it's quite hard because his legs are curled and I don't really want to snap them. You see that there guys? That big old thorny spike? That is what they will use to fight. And as with the jungle nymphs, these guys <coughs> will do the whole scissor kick thing. They will clasp you with these. One on each hind leg there, look. Plus some smaller ones. And it can well draw blood. They are very sharp. Um, I've actually even read that the natives to Papua New Guinea, where these are from, actually used the legs of um, Eurocanthus genus as fishing hooks because they can be that sharp so they would use them to catch their fish it's pretty cool isn't it so we can have a close-up of his uh, face there you can see the little yellow eye and yeah so this is our boy they don't get quite as big as the girls let's move on to the female here's our big old girl mature adult female your account for Calcarata. Now, you may be looking at this and one thinking, oh my goodness, she's got a sting. This is not a sting, guys. This is an ovipositor. So what she'll actually do, curl the tail up and actually push it into the soil and bury their ova, which is pretty cool. You can just leave it there to hatch, which I've done with a few. Um, the rest I've collected up into a tub. So she's a pretty big girl. 
you can see there for a size comparison in my hand uh, but what you'll notice our legs do not require, have the same spines as the male so that she's got little ones and she, yeah, she can hit you with those but they don't really hurt that much and they won't be uh, aggressive like the males. I've, I've held these girls on plenty of occasions. Though when I tried to hold the, the lad back there, uh, he has gone for me a few times. So that's the footage for you guys of the passed away specimens. It's unfortunate, but it's what happens in the hobby. It happens with all pets. Eventually they are going to pass away. Um, however, I am gonna be ending this video with some extra footage of the remaining living females um, having a feed or a wonder this evening. Like I said, they're really difficult to record because they spend all their time in a cork buck tube um, and they only come out in the evening to feed. So I will do my best to set up the lighting as best I can for you and I'll leave that with you now. But before I go, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. As I've said before, BTS is coming. We should get some amazing inverts added to our collection. Uh, if you like your video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment with any questions or queries you may have regarding myself, the Bug Realms channel or the Eurocanthocalcarata specifically. So thanks again for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.